Hello friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Carol and the name of my channel is My Blessed Nest. And today I have an estate sale haul for you. Do you love estate sale hauls as much as I do? I just can't get enough of them, especially on the last day of the sale when you get 75% off. Are you ready to see what I got? Let's get started. This was a small but mighty haul. I didn't find very many items. I've never seen such a cleaned out estate sale. It was on a Sunday afternoon and it was a beautiful day and hubby and I decided to take a little road trip. I think it was maybe 20 minutes away. This house was gorgeous and it was right on the lake and it was practically empty, but I did find a few treasures. First, in the basement, they had all of the different holiday stuff, and I found this cutie pie. I feel sure it's a hobbyist piece. Unfortunately, nobody signed the bottom with their name or the date, but all of the Christmas or holiday, whatever, was marked 50 cents, and then everything was 75% off. I should say it was marked 50 cents unless marked otherwise, which I did get in otherwise. So this would have been 13 cents. And then they also had this darling little ornament, very vintage. You can tell by the hanger, that's an oldie. And you remember how they used to wrap them around and just leave them on the ornaments back in the day. I love the bottle brush tree that he's holding and his little legs are the bottle brush material as well. And this was marked $2. So I got this for 50 cents. Also in the holiday stuff, I found this adorable little candle holder. This was marked vintage $3 and still has the candle in it. And on the bottom, it says Little Reindeer, 1978, Taiwan. It's hand painted porcelain by Jasco. And it does say Jasco 1978 right on the bottom of it. So let me show you the back of that. I just couldn't pass it up. I thought it was just adorable. You know, I love deer and this fits the vintage for me, deer and Christmas. So three wonderful things about it and the price. I also have a liking for first aid items and I thought this was really cute. All the books were uh, a quarter, I think. So I think that's what I got that for. And it has some really cool things inside of it as far as graphics. <laughs> Let me find something and show you. I just thought this was really vintagey looking and cool. And let's see what date this is. This is from 1953, I would say. And somebody used it well because it's underlined in pen. And I just kind of like that about a book. But it's not going to go in my bathroom. My half bath is blue. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. But I really like it. So for a quarter, I bought it. And then this item is really unique. I'm assuming it's a vintage soap holder. It's about the size of a bar of soap. And I got that for a quarter and I just thought the tortoise shell top was really, really pretty. And I do have some more modern day soap holders that are hinged and those little hinges always break. So you end up with two pieces anyway. So I just thought that was really sweet. Now this might very well be my favorite item. I just love this. It's a little tiny waste basket and I got it for a quarter you guys look at that little vintage design and I think it would go really cute in my kitchen here in my dining room actually where I'm sitting now it's nice to have a little waste basket sometimes for Kleenex or if you're working at the table to throw paper scraps in so question of the day do you have a waste basket in your dining room or not <laughs> so 
that's my favorite, but I also really, really love this. And then I also really love this. So I guess I'm gonna have three favorites today. I would love to know in the comments below what your favorite item or items are. And that's just always interesting to me. So let me know, drop me a comment below. Now I'd like to show you a couple things that my mom gave me and also a couple items that I showed in my last haul. I'm gonna show you where I put them. Uh, had a little outcry from my friend Melody because I didn't show where I put this stuff, but sometimes my videos get a little long, so I didn't last time, but I will today. So let me show you. Here's where my little Holly Hobby plaque ended up from my last thrift haul. I did post a picture on Instagram, but I thought for those of you who aren't on Instagram, maybe you would like to see this little spring vignette. And I was going to get rid of this vase, and then my friend Melody suggested I stage it with some flowers to sell in my booth. And I found these lovely daffodils in my spring flowers. And I also have this little Happy Easter pick. And here's just a little tip for you if the pick you want to use is too small just stick it inside of a straw and you could tape it around the stem to extend the stem and that's what I did and you can't really see it unless you look really close I kind of hid it in with the stems there and then this I never showed in a haul but I bought this at the majestic turnaround for one dollar I'm not really sure what it is it has a little uh, oh, little circle at the top here I'll show you so maybe somebody knows what this is. You could let me know. I thought it would be cool to hang on my peg at the bottom of my shelf that my husband made me for another look. But I'm really happy with this little vignette. And I'm really happy I saved that vase and didn't sell it. And if you didn't see my last video, I'll link it above and below. I got this for a quarter. I think, yeah, a quarter from the ReStore. Do you like to leave your tags on to remind you how much you bought something for? I do as long as they don't show. I also wanted to show you this little pin. It's from Avon, and I had it when I was a little girl. If you open it up, there's perfume inside, and you can put your finger in there and put perfume on. And I thought that was such a big deal when I was a little girl, but... I thought he needed to ride in this little cart with this mama bunny. <laughs> Doesn't he look darling? Here's what the inside looks like with the little perfume. It's still in there. And then it just snaps shut. And then on the back is a little pin. Let's see, does it have a date? Yep, 1973. So I would have been nine years old. Here's where my little wind up toy ended up for Easter. I just loved him and a lot of you loved him as well. So he's just perched there on my little treasure box. I have some mementos from my dad inside of that little box. I thought I would show you these pillow covers that I got on Amazon. I saw them in Robin Johnson's video and they were just so cute. I had to purchase them. I got them on sale and they were around $9 for four of them. They're very high quality and they're not flimsy at all. And I like buying the pillow covers instead of brand new pillows every time because they're a lot easier to store. I think this one has to be my favorite. Look how sweet it is. And I have it there with my ceramic bunny. Lastly, I'm giving you a little peek at the top of my hutch. I'm really happy with how I fixed this up. I kind of tweaked it. This little lantern is my mom's and we brought it here to our house and it was a gift from a special friend when my dad passed away and I'll give you a close up of that so you can read what it says. Mm -hmm. And then she also gave me this Charles Cookies and it's a tin and she has checkers in there and a checkerboard. It's a rug and the kids always like to play with that. And then I think I showed you that before in another video, but it's my mom's cake carrier 
it's a classic. We always had it at all of the birthday celebrations or any celebrations with a cake in it. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I found at this estate sale and also where I put some of my items from thrifting. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll link that below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.